Off turn number four, the Dick Shirley Chevrolet pace car heads to the safety of pit road, and Timothy Peters will lead Stephen Parsons, Josh Berry, and Deacon McCaskill. Off into turn number one as the field fans out behind them. Very quickly, Peters gets away, and here comes Deke McCaskill. To the inside, on the attack early is McCaskill in the 08. He'll clear Stephen Parsons briefly in the interest of turn number one, and look behind him. That's a mess. That's got the number two of Myatt Snyder, Bruce Anderson in the 73. Look who's diving on the bottom. There goes Anderson. Three wide, R.D. Smith stuck in the middle. As they work back to turn number one, there you saw Josh Berry looking underneath of Stephen Parsons. And even further up ahead of them, Deke McCaskill pressuring Timothy Peters for the race lead out of turn number four. Here goes McCaskill. Three laps complete. Deke McCaskill to the lead off of turn number two. Picking up exactly where he left off just two weeks ago at Southern National Motorsports Park. And behind them, look at this fracas. They are three wide down the back straightaway. That's where Tommy Lemons is making his way forward from the 12th starting spot. Austin McDaniel is there in the middle of it as well. A little bit of hip checking going on. It's Hockey Stanley Cup playoff season. Might as well throw a hip check and a cross check in there while we're at it. Move Lemons around Johnson, around the two of Denny. And Tommy Lemons is headed to the front in that Jumpstart Motorsports 4. Meanwhile, oh, behind him, there you see Tommy Lemons and Bradley McCaskill doing battle as Lemons continues to claw his way forward. All the way up now, well, he is working on position number eight. McCaskill has it, Lemons wants it, can't get it just yet. R.D. Smith looking underneath of Josh Berry into turn number three. That's the battle for position number three as Smith starting to get a little bit racy. He'll work his way up. Onto the podium spot with 36 laps complete. And move R.D. Smith with 49 laps complete up to the runner-up position. Now giving chase to Deke McCaskill. Meanwhile, now Josh Berry feels a little bit racy. Looking outside of Timothy Peters going the long way around as Peters takes out autos by Nelson Toyota down to the inside of the racetrack. He will give Josh Berry the lane. He's buried back up to position number three. And now Timothy Peters... Back to position four. Here comes Myatt Snyder. He's going to try to stick his foot in the door and walk right on through the opening that Josh Berry just kicked aside. Every team to a T when asked about their race cars, well, I'm good, I'm this, but I'm not as good as the 12. I'm not as good as Peters. He's in a class of his own. He's the guy to beat. So is Peters playing the tire conservation strategy? Hard to exactly say. A couple of by the way, Timothy Peters fans, he just cleared Myatt Snyder for the fifth spot, although Snyder fights back. Peters has it all to his own now with 69 laps to go. Trouble, turn three. Stephen Parsons up in the outside wall in the Phoenix Construction Board. It's something big time amiss on his car as he just ricocheted off the outside concrete. That will bring out a caution with 82 laps complete. But this battle for the lead is a dandy. Now Myatt Snyder roping himself up to the top five. It's a six car fracas up front. And now here goes not only Smith for the lead, but Tommy Lemons getting bypassed by Timothy Peters. That's for position number four. Daniel, a little bit of help on the rear bumper, and it's getting again down to Pater. 97 laps complete this time, and Smith is starting to rough up deep just a tad. R.D. Smith wants a chance at victory. So does Josh Berry, who's sneaking his way into the shot. Meanwhile, behind him, they're side-by-side side back at the back of the field. They're side-by-side side in the middle, and this battle for the lead is fiercely intense. And, it is and here comes Smith, finally gets that drive off turn number four. He'll move Deke McCaskill, I thought, for a second up turn number two, but he is underneath the h &L logging forward is R.D. Smith. This time, he'll lay the fender to him in turn number three, sideways as they work off the fourth turn, mere inches separating them at the line. 106 laps complete, just 44 laps to go. R.D. Smith mounting the biggest challenge Deke McCaskill has really seen all season long. Two veteran drivers going in at Hammer and Tong, and there goes the fender in turn number three. Artie's 39 laps to go in the Dick Shirley Chevrolet pace car, so get me the heck out of here. The field races off into turn number one, and look at Timothy Peters on the outside. He thought about making it three wide, then thought better of it. He's going to race alongside of R.D. Smith. Now for the runner-up spot. Behind them, Lemons and Barry, and there goes the right side skirt off of R.D. Smith's car. It will blow up, presumably out of the racing line. Race control says at the moment we'll keep racing until it becomes an issue. 
the Dick Shirley Chevrolet pace car heads to the pit lane. And with 37 laps remaining, Peters and McCaskill lead them off at the turn number one. And Timothy Peters says, I'm going forward. He cranks the car left. Clears Deke McCaskill for the race lead. Move pole sitter and new track record holder Timothy Peters to the point off of turn number four. 36 laps to go and Peters now has retaken command of this race. Problems nearly for Christian Eckes. Hold on to it. Hello. What a save by Christian Eckes. He got jacked up all kinds of sideways in turn two. Off of turn number four, Timothy Peters will see the white flag from Brandon Willard. He started on the Hedgecock pole, led the opening laps, fell back to as far as sixth. And late in the going, he sliced his way around. McCaskill, Barry, Lemons, and others. And off of turn number four, in his car's tour debut, Timothy Peters comes home to win the Orange Blossom 300 presented by the Grilling Store. Second goes to Dean McCaskill, third to Josh Berry. Myatt Snyder finishes fourth with Tommy Lemons Jr. claiming the fifth spot.